In today's video, we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop to simply create the moon. Okay, this is how it looks once it's all finished. It's all made from scratch, and it's quite easy to do. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is go up to the File menu and make a new document today. The size for our document is a custom size. It's going to be 1280 width. It's in pixels, by the way. 720 pixels for the height, 72 for the resolution, and RGB for the color mode. The background contents, I want you to change it to black, so that will give us a black canvas when we click create. Okay, so click create and you will see that black canvas appear. First thing we want to do is put a bit of a purple glow on our, onto our page here, and that's going to go around the outside of the moon. So the way we do that is we simply go over to our layers panel here. I'm going to break my layers panel off actually, just so you can see what I do here a little bit better. And inside of my layers panel, I'm going to head down the bottom I'm going to choose this half shaded circle. Okay, it's the new fill or adjustment layer. And once I select that, I'm going to go up to the top and choose gradient. A little dialog box will appear. When it does, I want you to change the style of your gradient fill there to radial. And then we're going to change the color of our gradient fill. The way we do that is this top box here. Don't click on the little arrow, just click smack bang in the middle of that colored box there. And I want you to choose the very first preset, the black and white one. We're now going to change the colors of this. So down here, we've got this color bar. We're going to play with these two little squares that look like little padlocks, I guess. I'm going to start with this black one on the left-hand side, and we're simply going to click on it. Okay, and then we're going to go down the bottom and change its color to purple. The way we can do that is just use the color slider here, bring it up to where purple is, and I want you to choose a purple that's not too dark, but not too light. Something like that one there. If you wanted to copy the hexadecimal value, it's 9354F2. Click OK once you've got that purple. Still in our color bar here, we're going to go up to the next color stop, which is white at the moment. And we're going to click on that and change its color to black. And then click OK, click OK, and click OK. And you can see now we've got a pretty cool looking canvas with a black background and a purple circle in the middle there. All right, so that's our radial gradient done. Next thing I'm gonna do is draw the moon. And the way we do that is we simply go over here and instead of using the rectangle tool, hold your mouse down on it and select the ellipse tool. Okay, the ellipse tool is our tool that will draw a circle for us. Before we draw our circle, we want the fill color to be white. So down here where we've got black and white for our foreground and background color, just hit the little arrows to switch them around so the white is on top and the black is below. If you don't have black and white for your colors there, just click on the top box and just select white for your color. As long as that top box is white, it's going to color our circle in white. And what I want to do is hold down the shift key so we can draw a perfect circle and just click and drag onto the page. Now you want to draw a circle that's a little bit smaller than that purple glow. Once you've drawn it, grab your move tool from the toolbox here. Ensure you've got auto select up the top checked and show transform controls up the top checked as well. That way you'll see this bounding box around our circle or around our moon. And you can pick it up and just move it to roughly the center of the page. Okay, your guides might be able to help you out like me there. That shows me that it's in the center of the page. You should be able to see the purple glow around the outside of that too. So if you need to resize this circle, make sure you're holding shift and you can just resize it to an appropriate size. Hit the tick at the top when you're done and just click off that circle and you can see now it's looking pretty good. What we want to do now is add a bit of an effect to this um, moon to make it look a bit more realistic. So we're going to put a little white glow around it to start with. Okay, so click back on your moon and what I want you to do is I want you to head over to your layers panel now and you'll see that you've got this layer called ellipse one. Go down the bottom and click the Effects button and choose Blending Options. A dialog box appears. And what we would, what we want to do in this dialog box is go down and select Outer Glow and check it. Okay, make sure you've selected Outer Glow as well and it's highlighted so we can play with the settings here. Okay, now my settings are already um, set to what I need them to be. You just need to make sure that yours are the same. So the Blend Mode needs to be Screen. The Opacity needs to be 75%. And the color here needs to be white. And click OK. Down a bit further, 
the technique should be softer, spread will be zero, and the size, change that to 20 pixels. Okay, once you've got that, you should have this little white glow around your moon, and you can uncheck and check this preview box over here to see how that white glow looks. Okay, just softens the edges of the moon. Click OK once you put that outer glow onto your moon. Okay. Next thing you want to do is we want to make a selection in the shape of the moon. So the way we do that, in your layers panel here, okay, I want you to hold down control and click on this little rectangle next to the word ellipse 1. Okay, you must click inside that rectangle somewhere while holding down control on your keyboard. And when you do that, so when you can control click on this little square next to ellipse 1, you'll get a bounding box, or a little selection box, sorry, with marching ants that go around the moon. Okay, if you don't have those little marching ants, you haven't done it properly, so go and control click on this little rectangle on the ellipse 1 layer. With that selected, I want you to go down the bottom of your layer panel, and next to the trash can, just click the button that creates a new layer. It's like a little piece of paper with a folded corner. Okay, on that new layer, we're going to add a few effects in, but before we do that, we need to switch these two colors around over here to have black foreground color and white for our background color. So black on top and white behind it. All right, then we're going to go up to the filter menu. We're going to go down to the render option and select clouds. We're going to put a cloudy effect inside of our moon like that. Okay. It's a little bit harsh at the moment, so we need to tone it down. And the way we do that is we simply pop over to our layers here, with layer 1 still selected, go down to the effects button at the bottom, choose blending options, and we're going to select color overlay. Okay, the blend mode for this color overlay is going to be linear dodge add, and the color needs to be pure white. The opacity Okay, just drag it down till you think it looks like the moon. I think anywhere between 35 and 40% will look pretty good. Okay, so once you've got those color overlay effects added in, click OK and you're all done. So I'm going to click off my moon now, press Control D to get rid of the marching ants. I'll move my layers panel back over there. And you can see now we've got a pretty good looking moon. So to finish up, we'll just go to File, Save As. And as we're saving this for the screen use, we're just going to save it as a JPEG image. Okay, it makes a small file size and high quality. And I'll just call it Moon. Click Save. It'll ask what quality you want to save it at. I reckon anything above 10 is good. We'll click OK. So that's your Moon done. Save it up and I'll see you in the next video.